her own mother, Josephine Meredith, who were all instrumental in Mother Mamsie's intercessory development. <clears throat> Though 10 years her junior, it was Mother Harvey who introduced Mother Mams to the baptism in the Holy Ghost, and she has never been the same. She went from being a soft-spoken, reserved yes, yes, woman, many of you know today, to the thunderous intercessor given to the Holy Ghost, yes, yes, whose prayers have covered many families, yes. churches, and communities. Yes, Her character exemplifies the combined scripture references of Proverbs 28, 1, bold as a lion, and Jeremiah 11, 19, like a, like a gentle lamb. <coughs> As Mother Mims began to grow spiritually and broaden her ministry of intercessory prayer, God expanded her territory. Countless five-fold ministry gifts have been graced by her intercession. Churches and ministries that have directly benefited from the yoke-destroying, burden-removing power of God on Mother Mims' life over the years include, but are not limited to, Bountiful Blessings, Bishop G. E. Patterson, Memphis, Tennessee, and Detroit, Michigan, Christian Faith Fellowship Church, Bishop Darrell and Pamela Hines, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Christian Gospel Center, Pastor Marcus and First Lady Ways, Detroit, Michigan. Full Gospel Tabernacle, Bishop Anthony Claxton, Detroit, Michigan. Great Faith Ministries, Bishop Wayne T. and Pastor Beverly Jackson, Detroit, Michigan. Marriage for a Lifetime Ministries, Reverends Oscar and Crystal Jones, Jonesboro, Georgia. Perfecting Faith Church, Pastor Donnie McCarkin. Perfecting Triumphant Church, Pastor DeAndre and First Lady Armstead. The River, Pastor Marlon Reed, Livonia, Michigan. Suddenly Supernat Supernatural Ministries, Pastor Ladea Mann, Southfield, Michigan. Word of Faith International Christian Center, Bishop Keith and Pastor Deborah Butler, Southfield, Michigan. And most affectionately, Bishop elect Marvin L. Ryan and her beloved and affected church. Yeah. Yeah. Countless prayer ministries, prayer teams, and prayer lines have also welcomed Mother Mims' prayer petitions and covering. Mother Mims' constant meditation and dependency upon Jesus can be attributed to her favorite scripture, which states, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on right, you because he trusted in you. Yeah. Well, in <coughs> niece Rachel. Isaiah 26 3. Daughter. Mother Mims transitioned this life in the midst of praising and glorifying God. Yeah. Oh, so I, I, I talked to Mama just before she died. She was preceded in death by her husband John, two sons, Maurice and Daryl, two siblings, Cora and Roscoe and grandson, Malcolm. Mother Mims needs to cherish her memory 15 children. John, Dolores, Haven, Gwendolyn, Rosemary, Gloria, Daryl, Victor, Ayetta, Dwayne, Sandra, Marvin, Veronica, Linda, Garnett, Clarence, David, Ladia, Sandra and Paul, 27 grandchildren and 16 great grandchildren. Glory to God. Siblings, Connie's 95, and Elder 85, and a host of family and friends. Hallelujah. Hold up the program. Hold the program up. Well, we ought to praise God for a life. If you don't know, you know now. God bless. <laughs> That's joy, family member. Amen.